Hi guys, this is again Alan and welcome back to my channel. Today here in the Philippines, we are now on our 12th week of the quarantine and I'm praying that you guys are all safe and sound at home. Today we are gonna be having again another watercolor review. <laughs> yes, again. And this is from Japan's most popular watercolor line. This is no other than the Botanical Art Set from Holbein. I got these sets in Tokyo, Japan in 2017 and each set was around 50 US dollars if I'm not mistaken or roughly 2,500 Philippine pesos. I'm not sure if it's the same price today in Tokyo but here in the Philippines this exact same set is sold by Art Whale for 2,750 Philippine pesos or roughly 54 US dollars. For those who are interested, I'll be putting some links at the description box so you can easily access them. The reason why I got two sets was because I really thought Holbein was the best brand in Japan and I still think they are. Eventually, I realized that floral or botanical paintings are not for me so I already poured into half pans the first set and sold it online but I still have the other set intact for me and please don't get me wrong I love Holbein watercolors and in fact the other day I got another set I bought some 15 ml tubes these are 18 colors and I'm gonna be reviewing them separately so please stay tuned for that and I know also some of you remember that I have already reviewed a whole bind set. You are not having deja vu because it is a different set. This is the whole bind 30 color set, and what we have today is their botanical art set. The set that I reviewed before was 30 color set, but this time we only have 24. So, in front, you can find this beautiful floral painting with some berries or fruits. And it says here in gold, beautiful lettering, Botanical Art, Watercolor, 24 color set. So here is the logo, Holbein Watercolor, Holbein Artists Watercolors. And it says here, there's a note, um, this product does not carry all necessary health warnings for the USA and Canada, not for sale or release to the USA or Canada. So there is a warning here, but I believe some sets have already reached US, maybe they were supported with some letters. And on the side, you can find the color selection. And it's just empty at the back. And now let's open the box. So here are some... Um, safety reminders I think so it says here carefully read the product labels and follow any precautions indicated do not eat do not drink wash your hands and keep up out of reach of children etc so here they have included an information sheet where they also provide some techniques or tips on how to uh, use the botanical set so here they have a tutorial for cherry painting and here is the color chart where they provided the color name the color code but they did not provide here the light fastness and the code or the pigment code the tubes are placed in a paper tray and they are grouped by six just like at the 30 color set and by the way the box is made out of paper but it feels very reliable and decent so now let's take a look at an individual tube so this is a 5 ml tube it's aluminum and in front, you can find the biggest um, writing here, the number code of the color, and it says here, Holbein Watercolors. It gives here the color name, and there's also three other languages. It says here 5ml, it says here AP, so I think it's non-toxic. 
So it says here made in Japan, not intended for use by children. So they provide also here the pigment code. So it's PR83 for the carmine. And they also have the light fastness rating here, um, which is two stars, I believe, for this kind of rating. Three stars is the highest. I believe this is their new design for their tubes because the old design looks like this but it's the same information that they are providing so it doesn't really matter but I actually prefer the new design because it's more simple let's also compare the 5ml tube with the 15ml tube and it's just the same placement of information just different size and for our swatch sheet and sample painting we are using as usual our just 185 cold pressed cotton paper and to make the video faster I'm gonna be dotting down our paints in our swatches and I'll be speeding this up so if you have any questions just comment it below So now we are ready to swatch because I have already written what I've forgotten the pigment code. Okay, so let's start with cadmium yellow lemon. This is a genuine cadmium color, so expect it to be more on the opaque side. But this is very light fast and it's a dependable pigment. Next we have Imidazolone Yellow, which is PY154. This is a mid-yellow. Next we have Cadmium Yellow Deep, and it's also a real um, cadmium combination with PY35 and Pigment Orange 20. So as you can see, both the cadmium colors are more on the opaque side. Next we have vermilion hue, which is composed of three pigments. Next is pyrrol red, which is a fire engine red, it's very intense. Next is carmine which is PR83 next we have Crimson Lake this is very deep red and it's composed also of three pigments next we have Kinacarone Violet Next we have Opera. This is a fugitive color because it has BV10. But Opera of Holbein is one of the best operas available because of its um, intensity and uh, rewettability in pants. I think we need to add a bit more. Okay. Next we have Bright Violet, again this has some um, brighteners so this is another fugitive color. Next we have PV47 or Cobalt Violet Light. This is an expensive pigment and a color that we don't usually find in sets. Next we have Permanent Violet, which is a PV23. This pigment is, as expected, very intense and deep. Next we have Ultramarine Light.
As I've noticed, around 20 or 25% of the selection is purple or violet because this is uh, suited for floral or botanical paintings. Next, this is cobalt blue which uses the real cobalt pigment, PB28. Next is this cerulean blue, which uses the real cerulean pigment, cerulean PB35. These are all light, fast blue colors. Next is the controversial Prussian blue. Um, it's controversial because the light fastness is unstable or shall I say uh, unpredictable. Next we have hooker screen which is again made out of three pigments. Next is sap green, another three pigment combination. And it's amazing that they have combined a red pigment with yellow and green to make this natural green color. Next we have permanent green number one. I'm sorry, I had to put my tape here so it's already <laughs> covered but it's permanent green number one. Next is Yellow Ochre, PY42. Next is Burnt Sienna, which uses PBR7. Next is another PBR7, the Burnt Umber. Let me clean this out first. So next is Van Dyke Brown and it uses NBR8. Next is the last but not the least, the Paints Gray which is made out of three pigments also. So now our swatch sheet is dry, we can now have a closer look. For our sample painting, I have chosen to use Yellow Ochre, Opera, um, Cobalt Violet Light, Lemon Yellow, and Pyrrole Red, along with, um, okay, just one blue, Cobalt Blue. If you have any questions, just comment it below because I will be speeding this up to save time. And I think we are ready to start. Our sample painting is dry, we can now remove our tape.
Now for the color selection, they have three yellows, one orange, three reds, four purples and a pink, four blues, three greens, four earths and a black. I think I'm happy with this. I can understand why they have four purples because this is intended for botanical art so they're gonna be painting lots of flowers so that's really understandable but if I need to change a color here I think I would change Prussian blue I think I uh, can replace this with a Viridian or a PB 15 is to 3 just to balance the selection because I think um, what's lacking here is a cool green or a cool blue so other than that I have no any issues when it comes to the selection of course for the performance of the colors I'm really happy with the performance as always for Holbein set and I'm glad that they've selected some reliable pigments like the cerulean blue which is a PB35 the cobalt blue which is a PB28 and the purple that's really lovely the PV47 and uh, these are really light fast colors and also I'd like to commend the pyrrol red the PR254 which is super vibrant I don't know if uh, you can uh, recognize it here and I think this is the most vibrant PR254 that I've seen also the opera this is the these two are the most intense out of the other similar pigments that I've seen from the other brands. Now when it comes to the sample painting, obviously um, I was really happy and I wasn't really actually expecting to achieve this output because I thought my color selection was not good and it was really an uncomfortable selection because those are not the colors that I use usually. But anyway, I was able to pull this painting out and I'm satisfied with it so I think the Holbein Botanical Arts set is really functioning well for the purpose of painting plants, florals, and uh, the likes. Now we have come to our favorite portion which is the comparison part. And let's begin with the set of paints that are I think less performing as compared to the Holbein Botanical Art. So first are these three that are obviously less vibrant and very opaque and chalky. So these are the Best Buy, Symbolion, and Dong A Creative. Next are the sets that are, I think, really vibrant, but um, the problem here, I think, is the dispersion and the texture of the colors. So let's begin with the Ebeo Studio watercolors, Faber-Castell tubes, Pentel watercolors, fine, Maris watercolors in tubes, Reeves watercolors in tubes, Faber-Castell solid watercolors, and Sakura Koi Pocket Field Sketchbox. As you can see, all those sets that we have mentioned are all student grades and school grades. So obviously, the point goes to Holbein Botanical Art. Now let's have these sets that are, I think, very popular, but are still under student grade paints. They perform really well, they flow really well, but I think the weakness is the intensity and the lack of pigment codes. So let's begin with the Mary's Watercolors in Pans. The Kuretaki Gansai Tambi, which is also another Japanese brand, and the Prang Watercolors 2007 and 2019. Now let's go to the set of paints that are really vibrant. They can actually rival the vibrancy and intensity of the Holbein Botanical Art, but they fell short because of the lack of pigment codes. So let's start with Kamlin Camel Watercolors from India. We also have Superior Watercolors in Half Pans, Superior Fan Palette Watercolors, and the Pretty Excellent Watercolors. Now let's go to these very popular student grade paints that are I think really performing well. They're actually providing pigment code information and light fastness rating. And I really recommend them to my artist friends, especially those who are beginners. These three are actually my most favorite student grade paints. But I'm giving the point this time to Holbein Art because of its vibrancy. I think they have a really strong point on that this time. But please don't get me wrong because these are all great paints. So these are Sonnet Watercolors from Nevskaya Palitra, Windsor & Newton Cotman, and the Van Gogh 12 plus 3 half pans. 
Now this next set is composed of artist grade paints. They provide pigment code information. They perform really well, I think. But also the edge of Holbein this time is the intensity and the punchy colors. So let's begin with the Prima Marketing Tropicals. Marie's Masters Watercolors. Lucas Aquarel 1862 and the Paul Rubens watercolors. And finally for our last set are our artist grade paints that are I think on the same level as the Holbein Botanical Art. So whichever you choose among these artist grade paints, I think you're all good to go. And the deciding factor this time I think is the price and the availability. So let's now begin with the Mijello Mission Gold Glass. As you can see, they're both really great, but Holbein is still more vibrant. But for those who would like to have a more uniformly textured paint, um, I think Mission Gold Plus is um, your choice because they're very consistent and very transparent. Next is Windsor & Newton Professional. Both are vibrant, but yes, Holbein is more intense. But if you want something that is really very reachable and available, especially here in the Philippines, and if you want, you know, transparent paints, you can just go for Winter & Newton Professional. Next is White Knights by St. Petersburg. Also, these are great and vibrant paints from Russia. But obviously, um, generally, the whole white paints are more vibrant and more striking. But also if you want more uniformly textured set of paints i think the choice for you is white knights and also the edge of white knights is no doubt the price because they're really cheap next we have the egalio honey watercolors these are handmade paints from italy obviously the point for intensity goes to holbein but i just really love the egalio honey watercolors i just find their texture really interesting and also the feel is really organic so I don't know I just really love working with the Egal Yohani watercolors and of course for my ultimate set the Daniel Smith extra fine watercolors I have to admit some colors at Holbein are really more striking like the Pyrrol Red and the Opera but um, I think the edge of the Daniel Smith aside from the range of colors is its character. Some have really interesting textures and granulation and the Primatex are really incomparable. So for me, it's still Daniel Smith, but also Holbein Botanical Art is really, really not bad. So whatever you choose, as I've said, among these artist grade paints, you are all good. And of course, our comparison will not be complete without comparing Holbein Botanical Art with the Holbein set that we reviewed last year, which is the 30 color set. I believe the 30 color set is intended for general use, so I think this set should be more balanced when it comes to the selection of colors, of course. But my issue here is that it has only two reds, it has three yellows, and it has, surprisingly, um, eight greens and uh, five blues. I think it should have at least three reds and uh, an another brown, I think. And I think they should, you know, remove one or two greens to balance the selection of the colors. So if I had to choose between these two, I think I choose the botanical art because I think it serves better for its purpose as compared to the 30 color set. And of course, before I give my final verdict, let me just share with you some of my paintings using the botanical art. So here's one, a very loose uh, floral painting. Here's another one, which I did last month. And here are some paintings that I did from uh, Christie's Summer Cutting Garden Watercolor Book. So I painted the dedication um, drawing and here's one also but I'm not super proud of this and here's also another one 
So now, if you're gonna ask me, would I recommend the Holbein Botanical Art Set? My answer is a definite yes. If you are a floral artist or a botanical painter, I think this set can really work well for you. I think the colors are selected really well. And I think I can prove that with the sample painting that I did earlier and with the paintings that I did before that I showed also earlier. And I really can understand why there are lots of purples here because those are for the blooms. And I super appreciate that they have this super intense opera and pyrrole red. I think they're the most vibrant ever that I've seen. And I'm super happy also that they've included a real cobalt blue and a real cerulean blue in the selection. But if I had to change one color, I think I'd change Prussian blue with a cold blue like a uh, thalo blue or a uh, cool green which is uh, pg7 i think to make the selection more versatile for other artists and when it comes to the dispersion of colors they move really well i think and the texture is also fine depending on the pigment but if you are expecting a movement of colors just like um, how core moves i think they're not the same or they're not even actually comparable to some European paints like Sennelier but I think the edge of Holbein set is really the intensity and the vibrant colors the punchy colors so uh, if you are into super vibrant colors I think Holbein Botanical Art set or Holbein generally is the set for you and I think we are done. I think that's all for today. If you have any questions, suggestions, recommendations, reactions, just keep them coming. If you want me to review anything and uh, you have the link, just comment it below. I'll be answering all your responses as soon as I find time. So for today, that's all. Thank you and see you next week.